And then I had him the game before. Guess what? Filled again top lane. So losing us the game. Let's see. Did the enemy team have any fills this game? Oh, their support's on roll. Their ADC's on roll. Their mid laner's on roll. Jungler's on roll. Top laner's on roll. Damn. One fill versus five on roll. So just like Riot decided to be like, all right, you're going to lose a lot of games today because you've been winning too much recently. So we're giving you three fills every game. This happened to Viper as well. When Viper hit like 1500 LP, he was telling me every single game he had one to two fills versus five on roll every game. And all he had to do was power through it. And he went from like, I think it was actually like 1300 and skyrocketed to like 16. But I'm literally just getting like a win. My win rate's too high. So they're enforcing a loser's queue on me right now. That's all it is. It's a genuine real concept, by the way. Riot literally came out and said years ago their matchmaking enforces a 50% win rate. And the rider who said that got fucking fired. But that's why I just hate this. Because if you're going to enforce a loser's queue by giving me, like, bad players, it's one thing. But when you're putting me against five challenger players and you're giving me a fucking, like, top main filled support first timing shit, it's like, that's fucked up. Like... That, that's sort of just fucked up. It's like, imagine they say, hey guys, your basketball team is too good. Um, so this game, what we're going to do is your your main offense is going to be a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, 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 yeah. And uh, your soccer team, yeah, your goalie is going to be a morbidly obese guy that can't even walk. Oh yeah, but at least he's like really fast so he can block the, neck, the, the net. No? Oh no, not even because he can't even stand up. So he's just going to be like lying down. Oh. I'm lucky, I guess. What, like, what do you want me to say? In game, right? They should just remove autofill and make it optional. No, 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 no. What they need to do is they need to remove secondary role. That's what they do. Make selecting a secondary role situational. Like you select it if you want. Let me just go to the bathroom. One second. Oh, okay. Type one if we have five on rolls this game. Holy fuck, we can win. I think we have five on rolls. NEVER MIND! But you know who does have 5 on rolls? The enemy fucking team. That's who. From now on, no summoner names and no chat either. At least now every game I can just like pretend my fucking team has 5 on rolls. Oh shit guys, this game we got caps on fucking Lissandra mid. Oh, let's, not, let's not hover over his name though. Let's not hover over his name. But this game we got caps on Lissandra mid, let's fucking go. It's winner's game. I mean, the other thing about this game is that the enemy team can build serpents. Any top? No, any top is a good thing. Any top is a good thing, bro. Because the good thing about any top is that the enemy top laner is too distracted, like, staring at the character model that he doesn't actually, actually focus on the game. I mean, Udyr could be lane ganking, but even if he is, I'm pretty sure one. Never mind. I mean, Yumi shouldn't die. Whatever. I'm tilted. <sighs> I mean, honestly, though, it's time that I'm tilted. It's that I didn't realize that they had both flashes up after my bot literally used all sums level one. So it's like enemy bot uses all sums level one, and for some reason, like our bot uses all sums level one, and for some reason, enemy bot keeps both flashes. Like, I don't know how that happens. Especially when Zara Yumi is actually like a lane that can contest someone as well, like... I mean, the problem here is that... If Udyr is hovering... Oh yeah. You ulted yourself. Good. I mean, you're just like insanely fucking reported, honestly. Why is my Zeri not killing the...
good. I mean, realistically, I'm less caught this flashes and I never lose this. Perfect. Who got the shutdown? The Sandra? <laughs> nice. 650 gold on caps. We can't lose. Your mid laner's not caps. His name is Plate Mike, and he's an autofill jungler. How about you shut your fucking mouth? My mid laner is caps. And nothing anybody says can prevent this from being the truth. Because it is a reality that I decide to live in. I mean, guys, we have numbers advantage. If we don't do this, we have cancer. It's as simple as that. Nice. I mean, thank God our fucking top laner performed this game, though. Wasn't for a top laner? GG. You know why. Also, guys, um, they're all dead. Could we uh, take the objective? How crazy would that be? If we just like took this objective... Like, imagine we don't allow the leader to just walk up for no reason, and we just take the objective and, like, get the second dragon so we can play for soul. Especially since, like, we outscale them, you know? Like, the second this game gets uh, Zeri three items, how the fuck does the enemy team ever kill Zeri unless, like, she's a AFK? Just don't allow them to randomly soul Baron and we can win the game. I'm the greatest fucking hacker I'm alive. No one even comes close. I wanted to see the beginning of the stream, but it's like, can you close, please? Haha. -ha. You know what it's like when you type that shit? It's like, imagine walking to a movie theater two hours late, but it's like, you can rewatch the movie after. You know what I mean? And it's like, you go up to the people in the movie theater and you're like, hey guys, uh, could we restart the movie? I came in late. But it's like, you can rewatch it! So what's the issue? And now it's like my mic is fucked up. And it's your fault! You broke my mic! You made me scream! Hello? Oh nice, now it's even worse. Now it's even worse! Wait. Yo? Okay, nice. We can run. Yo, Lissandra, how about you TP to the objective? When you're a team fighting mage that specializes in locking down the enemy team? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Okay, I don't know why the stream is on me though. <sighs> wow. I actually cannot believe he killed me there. There's no way Udyr is broken enough that he 1v3s, right? Nah, no chance on how. Well, now the good news is... Wait, actually. Perfect. And now we just got this drag for free. I got my maw after I got maw. <laughs> Good 
Good luck, enemy team. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's like, even because Sing knows. It's like, I've lost so much today. I cannot afford to lose another game. You know what I mean? Game over. It's good, bro. You got it, guys. You got it, guys! It's like there are two types of men on this pond of chat. Two types of men. Men with nothing left to lose. And men that cannot afford to lose. Both of those are the two dangerous kind of men on this planet, genuinely. Plus 22? Meh. Whatever. Although 1v9er for us.